<laughs> oh my God. How's everybody doing? Well, um, we finally got um, light restored. We got um, partial restoration here in Sugarland in Texas. And we have uh, now electricity and running water. Um, uh, we still don't have food. The food is we have to we have to go to uh, places like uh, like Kroger's, which is what they call it here. Hello, how are you, Stephen? Stephanie Brown, how are you? So uh, we've been going through it here in Sugarland. Mia Pia, how are you? BB Vision, how are you? Star C, how are you? It's good to be back. Um, oh my God, thank you, thank you. You know, I bought some new equipment. You know, I bought some new equipment. You know, um, thank you, how are you? Uh, yes, I'm okay, I'm okay. Um, we still gotta buy food. We still don't have a lot of food. We still uh, are short in supplies. Pretty much most of Texas is still dark. Um, this, this, you know, I, I, I listen, I was in, in total shock. I, I, I never thought that, I, I mean, people had no food, had no water, there were lines all over. People were fighting for gas, there was no gas. The entire state was in darkness. Uh, you know, maybe I'm spoiled. I've never experienced that. I live in New York City. I've always lived in big cities where we never had this problem. Um, I mean, I, I, there was ice and I fell down the stairs and almost broke my back, you know, in the ice, you know, and I'm not if I, if I should sue, you know, I don't know. I'm in a gated community exclusive and nothing worked, the gates were open, um, but I'm not gonna go into that. Uh, I'm fine, I'm good. Uh, uh, we're still not out of the water. Um, today we went to eat at a restaurant and we had to, we couldn't leave, we had to leave because the, the, the pipes froze. The pipes froze, and we had to leave the restaurant. They couldn't serve, so when I out of the water, it's 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 too bad. It's too bad. Uh, yeah, I'm in Texas, you know. So, uh, and so we we are heading for another blow, and you know, Louisiana, Louisiana is next. Uh, the state, uh, the, the storm came from Austin. You, thank you, thank you. I, I, you know, I, I look great. I feel good, and a lot of you have been supporting me and have been understanding. Some of you, I couldn't do your charts because I had no power, I had no Wi-Fi, and I'm under a lot of pressure to be to start the school. The school begins in a couple of days, and I want to uh, stay on the air. I want to stay on the air. Congratulations. Although the, the, those of you who did the Zoom for your Valentine's, you're going to get your blessings by the new moon, which is in a couple of weeks. And then every month you're going to be getting some blessings because I've done the spell for every single one of you. So you guys, and I have the names of all of you that were in my Zoom videos. So you guys are going to be good. I've done some good spells and you guys are going to be good. Like they say, you're my nigga, you're good. My nigga, I'm good. You're going to be good. You are going to be good. Cause, okay, and I, I hope you feel it. I hope you do. I hope now you don't, don't fuck around. That it's gonna come out, so you know. So I enjoy. It. I, and I had so much fun. I had so much fun with you guys. It was, and it, Elsie, um, Rhoda, you know, um, there was a couple of you that were not there that paid, but you wasn't there. I did the spells for you too, even though you wasn't there on the Zoom. You guys paid. I did the spells for you too. Everybody knows, you know. I have cookies for you. I have balloons for you. I have hearts for you. For those of you who who saw the Zoom, you know how I did it. It was so much fun. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to put it on YouTube because I put my cha-cha-cha music. A lot of you heard the kind of music that I play. You all have such a good, I'm glad you all loved it. But I don't want to get sued by RCA Records and I'm already on hot water with you know who. So I, I couldn't televise it and I couldn't put it on YouTube because again, because of uh, uh, infringement rights and violation rights, you know, with RCA Records concerning uh, Tito Rodriguez and, and these songs, you know. No. Uh, how are you, Miriam? Oh, yes, I did it to Valentine's. Remember, for those of you who don't have Valentine dates, I'd be your date. 
whether it's a woman or a man, and it'll be Zoom, and we do all blah, 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 blah. That's why you probably didn't hear me because you got a date. You probably got a date. You probably got a boyfriend or a girlfriend. So I couldn't be that for you. <laughs> you know, so understand that, um, no, I don't use makeup. Mm -mm. I usually put um, black seed oil or I put a little bit of honey, right? And I trim, you know. I, I you thank you. I used to do makeup though. You're right. I used to do makeup when I was doing theater, but you know I'm not doing that now. No, I tell you, I can reinvent myself, you know, and, re and really spring out. I can take care of myself. Black seed oil. It does wonder, you know. I shave, right? I shave, and then I take ice, and I put ice on my face, and I numb my face with ice. Then I take olive oil and a little bit of honey, and I do this. One, I do this with it. I do this, right, and it gets hot, and then I, I baste it, you know, on my skin, you know, on my eyelids, eyebrows, you know, you know, you know I do that, you know, and I do that, and I go over, you know, a massager, absolutely not. But I, I, I would love to do, um, put on some makeup, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, like Joan Crawford, see? But I was doing that since I was 16 years old because I was in professional theater, and that's what you do. And then you do it at night to take the makeup off, to make the makeup off. Oh yeah, oh, it, it, it makes your skin look supple and young. Oh, you, listen, you shave it for guys. Girls can do it too, but it really works for guys because guys are shaving all the time, and we are always you know, corrosing our skin. If you put a little bit of olive oil and honey together and rub it real hard and you baste it properly, because you know the honey makes it sticky, so it acts like a like a Botox and it pulls your skin. Oh yeah, the, the, those are my Oshun secrets. I'm giving you my Oshun secrets. You know, but you gotta you gotta clean your skin and base it with black seed oil. Oh my god. That black seed oil, it does wonder. And and I put it on my hair. I put it on my hair, and it makes my hair nice and plush, and you know, like that Alpo glow on the door, you know, you give him Alpo, and he got that Alpo shine, that nice coat. Well, that's what black seed oil does for your hair. I, I, I clean my hair with cinnamon apple cider to get rid of the dandruff, and then I put black seed oil, you know, and, and that's what my, and, and it grows, and it looks, you know, it looks good, you know? Um, so anyway. <laughs> I've done that already, series on Square. Yes, I'm still doing personal readings. So call me 347-485-6258. Get them in, because when I start doing the classes on the 25th, I'm gonna minimize my readings as far as new orders. So get them in, because I'm gonna be focusing on the semester. And then I'm gonna focus on Patreon and moving my videos from YouTube to Patreon and then doing the occult video series which I'm doing now. So I'm gonna be bitch ass busy putting all this together. You know, and, and, and this and I don't want to delay the opening of the school. So I'm gonna announce now the people who three people got scholarships for the school. Uh that that's our Mrs. Ganduli, which is in Mumbai, India. Mr. Alex Rodriguez, who is in Dallas, and Mrs. Olga, Olga, who is in Houston, Texas. Those are the winners of the scholarships for this year. Uh, I have Mrs. Uh, Julia Bonfigli, uh, who is uh, being admitted to the school academically. And I also have Mary, who has also been admitted to the school academically. So we got three on scholarship and two uh, students who are paying for the uh, curriculum three year certificate course. Uh, the admission is 12. So there's six, six slots still left. So registration will close on the 9th of March. Then it will not open but until next year when we do another 12. So if we don't have, we don't fill the classes up by the ninth, we're gonna stick with the five. 
right? And it's a three-year certificate program. I'm still writing the curriculum. They've been fucking with my website, the People's Astrology. That's not that, that's not how I have my site. They fucked it up. It looks it, it looks amateurish. Doesn't look professional. They fucked it because they they attacking me all kinds of ways. So I hired a, a, another team to work with Vistaprint to put that website professionally together because they fucked up my whole template and stuff. Because, you know, my Saturn return, they're coming at me in all directions. So um, that's that. Okay? So now I'm going to, unfortunately, my uh, tablet stopped working. Again, we are still on a Mercury retrograde. And with the Mercury retrograde, and then the uh, the squares and all the stuff that's going on, you know, the Saturn return, all that has, it has been a, a rough neck year already. But you know, I'm Aries, you know, I'm Virgo, but I'm Aries, you know. I, I, I find a way and I stay on top of the game. You know, I stay on my A game. So I'm gonna continue with uh, the human blood and the archons. And this is a powerful, Powerful mystery. Uh, again, uh, many of my uh, fellow secret society brothers are not happy that I'm discussing these things with you. Um, but, you know, hey, so be it, right? I'm Aries Moon. You know, you can't tell me, don't tell me what to do. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. My Saturn is also in Aries. And my North Node is also in Aries. So I'm all Aries. And I'm going to do what I want to do. And no one's going to stop me. No. So that's just, what, that, that's just how it is. That's just how it is. So I'm going to be um, providing you with some powerful mysteries and some terrifying secrets of nature, of God, ourselves and our planet itself and i encourage you encourage you to also go on medium.com because you know i have five websites guys i know what these people out there calling me a fraud when i got so much evidence out there you know what i'm saying i don't understand that you got a lot of haters out there i don't know why so go to my medium.com where i have my thesis is published because that also i have, that's that's more information for you Okay? That's more information. Now, I'm going to let you enjoy the scenery for two minutes because I got to go to the boys' room. <laughs> I got to go to the boys' room. Okay, guys, sorry for that. I got my spliff and I got my delicious, just delicious pineapple martini. Oh, oh, look, I'm dropping some because, you know, the spirit, they gotta have some, you know, the archon. They got, because I'm about to talk about these archons. Mmm. The only thing that I'm upset about 
is that I don't have my music. You know, and that really upsets me, but you know, but what, 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 what can we do, right? Ah, thank you. Yes, the Queen of Wands, um, solitaire, don't listen to them. Honey Love, Overstand Moche, X Elias, Tammy Lewis, Cherise Cat 83 or 33, 1234. Yes, I missed the beat. Oh, I wish I could play for you right now. Some Tito Rodriguez, some Charanga. You know, in my, you've got, I'm gonna do another Zoom video, guys. This Zoom video was so successful that I gotta do another Zoom video because everybody liked it, the guys that participated. Donate to www.paypal.me forward slash Keisha Farmer. That's my administrator. That's Keisha Farmer, K-E-I-S-H-A Farmer, F-A-R-M-E-R. Thank you so much. I appreciate your donations. Cause uh, until I get a Patreon going, this is the way that this is the lifeline to keep the channel going. Since I'm not getting the monetization yet, uh, but that's coming. Yes, Keisha Farmer. Keisha Farmer. Someone said that it is a pleasure to speak to you. Her name is Stephanie. She loves you. Wonderful. Thank you. I, I don't know what I would have done with Miss Farmer. She has turned. She's a Scorpio. She's a Scorpio. And she just took over the, I let her take over the company and the company is so, we're getting our LLC, we got the school girl, we're gonna open on schedule. And I'm so excited, I could vomit. <laughs> I can't wait to have you on Zoom and begin this, yes, the astrology classes with all this, every single one of you. Now, remember, uh, for those of you who have gotten the scholarship, you still gotta take the occult courses. The scholarship, which is a $10,000 scholarship, covers you for three years. But you still got to pay for the occult courses, which is 14 of them. That's $1,400. You got, you got three years to pay that off. You're not going to get a certificate until you get those occult courses because that serves as a prerequisite. And that goes for the non-scholarship uh, uh, admission acceptance as well as the scholarship admission. So if you have not finished, um, uh, paying for the occult classes, you're not going to be able to register for the astrology classes. You still got to take them because it's required for you to understand the courses in astrology. So you have a couple of days to get that squared out of the way. Okay? Um, uh, uh, the scholarship, is it covers everything. Everything. So I, I've already named the three people that got the scholarship. Olga, Rodriguez and Ms. Ganduli. All right, that's a ten thousand dollar scholarship because it, it, that's how much it costs. We're talking about three years plus two years of residency, where you get to do charts and you get paid, and I supervise. and And then after the two years, you get the license by the school. So you get a certificate when you finish the, the program, but you don't get the license to go out and practice after two years of residency by a professional to supervise your work, right? So, you know, oh no, it's very, it's very comprehensive, very comprehensive, right? So let's talk about the archons and the human blood. Okay. Yes, I will delete my videos from YouTube completely and move them over to Patreon. But I'm not going to delete introductory videos like what I'm doing. The occult series videos, I'm going to do those on YouTube and then do different occult series topics. And then whatever you're interested in, then you can see the rest of them on Patreon. So YouTube will be a stepping stone for the videos that you're going to see and pay for on Patreon. So you're going to get the free videos on YouTube as far as the preview, which is still 25 minutes to an hour. And then the actual series of 16 parts, then you get to go to Patreon and pay for them as a, as a subscriber or, or as a member and see them monthly. You pay monthly. 
That's how that's being done. And Ms. Keisha Farmer has hired a staff of her own to get that going and consultants of Patreon and Vimeo to get that going. And your money that you're donating is going to pay for all of that. And all of that is on company record and on the file, okay? So I told you, Uncle Fernando is very cardinal and I'm very transparent. And I'm gonna see to it that, you know, I find a way and I always do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get to pay monthly. So you get to see all my videos and you pay a one monthly fee. So you don't have to donate anymore. You pay one monthly fee. That's what I was trying to do on YouTube to pay subscription, but you know, they, they you know, well, you know. So, so, you know, I will be doing new, okay, before I go into it, I will be doing new videos. This video is new. I'm doing a code series. I'm gonna do a code series 00013. I'm going to do up to 00099. So that's 99 videos on occult that I'm going to do on YouTube for free. But I'm going to do only the introductions of different topics. Like, for example, um, 00013 is about human blood and the archons. This is part two. I did part one. There are 16 parts to this. You're not, I'm not going to put them all on YouTube. I'm going to put them on Patreon. And you're going to pay monthly to get all those 16 parts. That's a lot of videos for $20 a month. But you get the introduction on YouTube for free. So you get to choose which video series you want. So I'm going to give you different topics of occult subjects. And you get to choose which one you want to pursue. And that you'll pay for monthly when you go to Patreon. How does that sound? I don't know if a uh, if Patreon is free to download on your phone. I think it is, I'm not sure. Okay? Yes, my name will be the same, The People's Astrologer. Remember, we are in LLC, so it is the same. It is not free, you have to pay monthly, just like I was gonna do the paid subscription. Remember, the YouTube paid subscription was gonna be $9.99 a month. So you still have to pay. You're not going to pay $9.99 a month on YouTube because they're not going to give me the paid subscription. That's why I chose Patreon, because they will give me the paid subscription. But I'm not going to cancel YouTube altogether because it's a very valuable platform. So I'm going to provide you with the free videos on YouTube of all the topics that I'm going to have available in detail on Patreon. And you get to choose which ones you want to invest in. Does that make sense? We are gonna, we're on a retrograde. We are on a retrograde, and I'm in my Saturn return. So we are going to begin uh, transferring the videos, and I'm also gonna have another tier where for those of you who are 25 years of age or younger, you get to pay $20 and I do an hour video for you or reading. But for those of you who are 25 and younger, so uh, that way you don't get to pay $150 a reading. We're not doing that anymore. You get to pay only $20 instead of $150. So I'm doing that for you. So you don't come out of pocket like that. But until then, the readings are 150, but I'm, I'm making it where you don't have to pay that, mu that much money. Okay, this is what Uncle Fernando is doing for you. You know, so, you know, that's why I, I love and, and need your support because this is how I, I'm, I'm gonna pay you back by eliminating the 150. And, and every time you call, you get your reading. Yes, I'm gonna do couples reading too, all for $20, not no more. Same flat rate. If you are 25 or younger, if you're 25 or older, it's 150. But for young people that are in school and have, you know, they're, they're starting out, I'm not charging you that kind of money. You know, because I'm here as a shaman, I'm here to help you not break your bank. That's not what this is about. But you know, I gotta pay YouTube, I gotta pay a fee for Patreon, I gotta pay a staff, so I have to charge. I really don't want to do that, but I have to because that's the world we're living in. Okay. Uh, yes, right, keep that error's energy. It makes sense, so thank you, Lissy Darko, it makes sense. You know, I'm always gonna be honest with you. 
and my LLC is public. You guys can see my company and see my earnings and see the whole thing because it's public knowledge. I don't hide anything. I am very transparent. I don't want, I don't know why people attack me being a fraud and stuff like that. I hate it, but I'm you know, I've already spoke to my lawyers about that. We're gonna we're gonna press libel suit and slander for people who are continuing to do this. Because we are very legit and very transparent. Okay. Um all righty. Whew, that was quite a whew. No more super chats. No, 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 no. That benefits you too. Remember, I have not gotten paid yet. They finally released the money that's owed to me. Thank God to my lawyers and Ms. Farmer and the legal team. They finally released the money that's owed to me by YouTube, which they held for three years. I didn't get paid for three years. Finally, though, the money came. You know, the lawyers did their shit. So I was very happy about that. Is that you, Mrs. Um? Or is that me? Who? Is she? Okay, thank you. What was that? No, it cannot. You read about that. Okay. The human archons. I mean, <laughs> The archons the archons. Well without water, think about it like this. Without water, will you be able to survive? You could have food in a desert. But if you got no water, how long are you going to survive? I want to hear it. Throw some. Throw a figure. Archons are extraterrestrials. For those of you who don't know what archons are, archons are extraterrestrials. Sometimes they come in spaceships from space. Sometimes you can see them land in the mountaintops. Three days. Very good. Three days. There you go. Excellent. Three days. You got it. You know, I love you guys. You guys are so fucking smart. And I, 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 I can be arrogant. I said, my, my subscribers are fucking smart. I think of all the astrologers on YouTube, I got the subscribers that are the fucking smartest. And, and I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. I got the smartest subscribers on my channel. Because you guys, you guys don't miss a fucking beat. You don't. You don't miss a fucking beat. And I'm proud of you, and I'm proud of that. Wait, oh, I thought I had the lighter. Huh? You know, I thought I, I thought I had the lighter. I wanted, I gotta find the lighter. Uh, no cash out. It has to be uh, PayPal because remember, we have to pay taxes and cash out does not collect taxes. This is something that kept coming back to us from our lawyers. Uh, we have to pay the taxes. So we can't do cash out. I can't do it. Miss Keisha Farmer sometimes does it. But do it to the Keisha Farmer or PayPal. Pay, www.paypal.me forward slash Keisha Farmer, and I'll take your donations. Yes. Uh, we're not going to do cash out now. We've been put on limit. The PayPal is www.paypal.me forward slash Keisha Farmer. K E I S H A F A R M E R. Yes. 
And she's the administrator for the company. I met her the administrator and she runs the company. And she's the she's the she's the she's the back end of the company, while I represent the front end. I'm the one on the uh, I'm the talent, like they say. <laughs> I'm in front of the camera, Ms. Farmer, and my staff is behind the camera, uh, pulling the strings and making the company and everything, and the scheduling and putting everything in place. PayPal says the, the admin for the People's Astrology, because there's four different Keisha Farmers. Oh, uh, I hear, uh, I was just told that there's four different Keisha Farmers on the PayPal. So she's telling me to tell you that it's, um, what was that again? Admin for People's Astrology. Admin, uh, so I don't need to spell that because I don't know what it is either. Administrator, admin. And that's A-D-M-I-N. Admin. For the People's Astrology. For the People's Astrology. So it's www.paypal.me forward slash admin. Keisha Farmer, I don't know how I don't know how this goes. Uh, she's just frustrated because I just don't know. I don't know. Um, she says admin, but I don't know where the admin goes. If it goes in front, does it go in the back? Does it go after me? Does it go after Keisha Farmer? I don't understand these things. Um, well, anyway, um, if there's a problem, just uh, uh, email me at Gmail, Fernando Prism at Gmail. She does look at the email and she'll text and put in the email the actual spelling of what it is. All right, now. Uh, I, I, I can't type the link right now because I'm not sure how to do that. I don't know how to put admin, but I don't know how to do that. No. Um, you know, so I, I think I'll let her do that. You know, you email and, and she'll type in the email because, you know, that's just, I, I, and, and I wasn't prepared to tell you that beforehand. So um, she might write it down and give it to me and I can pass it to you. You know, I'm a psychic, I'm an astrologer. Yes, I am a businessman in the sense that I handle the big things, but I, I hire people to, to deal with the little things that I might have a problem dealing with. I'm not a detailed person, I hire people to do that. It doesn't mean that I, it's belittling, it's just that, you know, the devil is in the details. And you know, there's a lot of specific things that can trip you up. And there are people that are very talented at capturing that. And Ms. Farmer is one of those talented administrators that can capture that. I can't do both and be proficient at both. I can't be a fucking great astrologer and seer and also be a great administrator either. I have to hire people to do that. Uh, okay, here she just gave me the, uh, the information. Uh, it's www.paypal.me forward slash Keisha Farmer, K-E-I-S-H-A space F-A-R-M-E-R. -E well, because I saw a space here, so I'm assuming that there's a space. Okay, she's telling me that there is no space between Keisha and Farmer. It's all one word. Okay, uh, the page will say admin for the people's astrologer. That's A D R A D M I N. Admin. It stands for administration. Admin for the people's astrologer because there's four Keisha farmers, so that way you can tell which one it is. So you don't give the money to the wrong um, PayPal account. Okay, we're done with that. So is that clear, everybody? Great. Okay. So now let's begin. Uh, you cannot, that's right. You can only live three days without water. That lets you know how important water is.
Water is very important to the human body. Without that water, you cannot live. Well, the same thing can be said about human blood. Human blood is water to the archons. They love it. They love blood. Do you know, do, have you ever heard of Santeria, Brujeria? You really want to know what's going on? Do you really want to know what's going on in these rituals? One second, please. Thank you, Heidi, for your donations. I love you. And Jasmine. Jasmine, thank you. Thank you. I, I was just told by Mrs. Farmer that the donation is coming in. Thank you. Mwah. I love you. Thank you. We do. We all love you. Do you understand that the archons, first of all, let me let you know what archons are. Archons are extraterrestrial beings. What do I mean by that? And, I, and I've done videos on the archons and the ego, that the, the voices that we hear in our heads that we think it's our, our own thoughts, they're not our own thoughts. They're the thoughts of the archons. I did a video. I did a video on this. Go back to those videos when I was uh, on the when I was in Florida, when Miss Pagan was the uh, administrator for my Florida branch, and she did Capricorn. She did a wonderful job, fantastic job, fantastic job. And I did a video on the ego and the archons. I gave that for you as a Christmas gift. It's in the videos. Look for it. Right. I'm Dominican. I, I practice La Ventiuna División, the 21st Division. Donation from Erica. Thank you, Erica, for your donations. Thank you. As Dominicans, we practice La Ventiuna División, the 21 Division. The Puerto Ricans and the Cubans, they practice Santeria. Okay? Santeria is Cuban and Puerto Rican. La 21 División, or the 21st Division, is Dominican witchcraft. While Puerto Rican and Cuban is Santeria, and that's witchcraft. And the Virgin Islands is Mambiju. In Haiti is Loa. In Jamaica is Obia. In Brazil is Candomblé. I'm telling you the shit. This is what they don't want me to talk to you about. What is this? What are these different houses? Because they are houses. You have the house of Santeria. You have the house of the 21st Division. You have the house of Voodoo. The house of Candomblé. The house of Obia. The house of Loa. Africa is where all these houses of witchcraft come from. These are archons. The Bible talks about the fallen angels. And I made a video about two sets of fallen angels, didn't I? Didn't I do a video on that? Now, let's go and get deeper about it. But first, let me take a pull of the split. <laughs> I need it for, for what I'm about to fucking say. 
is deep or it is deep. It, it is deep. And it's about to get deeper. Yes, there was a group of archons that were cast out of heaven. The Yoruba. Let me tell you something about the Yoruba. Oh, God. I hope they don't punish me for saying this. Oh, God. I mean, oh, God. The Yoruba, or La Ventura de Vision, or Santeria, fall under the house of Ifa. Okay? This is the house of Ifa. We can't talk about Planet X in this occult series because we're talking about something else. Near best, you're right. You're right. But I told you, one was cast out of heaven because, and I'm going to tell you the, the chief archon, you know what his name was? Please, please, please do not repeat this word. Please. Do not repeat this. I'm going to say it only once. No, it's not Lucifer. The one that led the fight against Archangel Michael and spit at God and decided to come down to earth and 200 of them came with him like the book of Enoch tells you. His name was Azazel. Serenia Yasharaba. You, you have the right spelling. Please do not pronounce that name. It is a name of a fallen one and was the chief one that fought against Gabriel. Astrologically, guess what his sign is? I'm not going to spell it. But I saw the spelling, someone spelled it correctly. And I would prefer that you don't spell it. I'm testing you. No, it's not Capricorn. Two more guesses. Not Gemini, no. Cap, no. Mercury, no. Pisces, no. Aries! That's right. Aries, the god of war, that's Azazel. The demonic archons that live in the planet Mars. There is life form in Mars, but not the way scientists think. It ain't flesh and blood like they think. And they and scientists believe, they really do believe that they're gonna get to Mars. No, they won't. I'm telling you, no, they won't. Those archons are not going to allow man to reach Mars. They won't. Remember, remember the disasters that occurred in 1986? The, the, the Challenger, where it blew up and it killed all those seven astronauts? Remember the, 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 the Challenger in 1986? Do you remember? Do you remember? That's what's gonna happen. And many, many will die before they reach Mars. Just like the moon. We're not allowed to go back to the moon. Those hawkers don't want us in, up there. You think they're going to want us in Mars? Shh. 
Human beings can be so stupid sometimes. Especially the ones that think that they're smart enough that they can defy God. Listen, in my altar, I have the names of all these fallen angels. Most santeros and shamans, we know the names of these fallen angels. We do know them. And they know us. Because we are the priests that can intercede. Just like Enoch intercedes with them, so do we. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Ain't nothing new. It's still going on. But you're still here. They're all still here. Don't you understand? You all need to watch my videos. They never left. They're still here. And that explains why there's so much evil in this planet. They never left. They're still here. The fallen ones are still here. And they're reincarnating with us. That is the biggest, best kept secret from the church, from the Vatican, and the secret societies. They know this. I can't tell you that, my dear. Just know that I know, because I'm a member of the club. No, they're not Nephilim. That died in the old world. Many of them are reptilians and greys and insectoids and other types of beings that you have no idea. I love you more. Did you remember that movie, The Transformers? Revenge of the Fallen. You need to watch that movie because they're telling you the, the story and the history of the moon and the stragglers and archons that still live there. But they made a movie and they made a fiction. If you watch the Transformers, the, the Revenge of the Fallen, that is the real history of what happened in the moon. They're telling you in your fucking face. They're telling you. That's right. Earth was here first. And then it split in half. And I talk about that in my anthropological series. I'm not going to do it here. Because I already spoke about it in my thesis. The, 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 the gods had to separate the earth and make it the moon. Because there were two beings evolving here. Humans and another extraterrestrial race. And they were so toxic that they were overcoming and overshadowing the human evolution. So the gods had to separate the earth and break and allow them to evolve on their own while humans still were able to develop on their own rate and, and, and pace. That became the moon. And therefore there is a rift between the sea of man and the seed of the archon. This is what Genesis talks about, that God put enmity against the woman's seed and the snake. No, that, that's a, a distortion. They made a, they put an, empty, an enmity against the seed of humanity, against the archons, which is why they hate us. Even though they were considered Luciferian spirits, and they, like the Garden of Eden, they were the ones that are walking man before he was early, before he was, how can I put it? The archon, the serpent in the garden, and I did a video about that. They are woken man too early, too early. And when the upper gods found out, they had to cast man out of the garden. So he don't develop too fast and become gods to overthrow them. It's in Genesis. 
It says, man has eaten from the tree of life. No, from the tree of knowledge. If he eats from the tree of life, he shall become as one of us, as God. And that's, that's in fucking Genesis. And nobody talks about that shit. It's in Genesis. So we were purposely took it out. So like that, we don't grow and become gods to overthrow the gods that are right now ruling this. Which means that the day will come where we will become gods ourselves and overthrow the gods that are now ruling. Just like we overthrow kingdoms and monarchs. As above, so below. Is this sinking in? Ooh. Ooh, I need a breath. Ooh, look. Ooh. You let me know if Uncle Fernando is bullshit. Am I bullshit? Let me know right now. This ain't bullshit, guys. This ain't bullshit. It's deep. It's deep. And it's about to get deeper. All world governments know this. And the clergy and the Vatican, which is why they got four billion dollar telescopes in a poor country. Yeah, they got a four billion dollar telescope. I know because I've been to the Vatican. They know who I am, and I've been to that tower myself. There are so many other, and all the European powers got powerful. What the fuck are they looking at? What are they looking at? What stars are they looking at? Even our own Washington Monument in DC, that obelisk, it's pointing to a star. Did you know that? And guess what star is pointing to? You gag. But I certainly won't tell you today. The founders of this country created two governments. July 4th, 1776 is one government. But the shadow government was created on September 18, 1793. That's the real birthday of the United States. There are two governments. One is real and one is shadow, what we call shadow governments. Shh. And this is public knowledge, by the way. It's in your fucking face, but if you're not, if you don't know it's there, you ain't gonna see it, you ain't gonna look for it. Yes, the star that is pointing to is Spica, which is the constellation of Virgo. Why Virgo? Why is it pointing to Virgo? And yet the birthday of the United States is September 18, Virgo, 1793. But they're telling us it's July 4th, 1776. That's bullshit. That's the shadow government. Now I got to be careful here. I'll tread carefully. <clears throat> the opposite polarity is Virgo of Pisces. We're in the Piscean age, and the opposite polarity is Virgo. That's why it's pointing to that star. Because the energy of the planet resonates with Virgo. We are in the Aquarian age, but it is expressed through the opposite polarity, which is Virgo which is why the Pope has a Virgin Mary figure on the staff and why the Virgin Mary is so revered because it is giving accent to the Virgin and the obelisk in DC is pointing directly to those stars of Virgo, symbolizing the opposite polarity of the Aquarian age. Is this making sense to you now?
my babies, you're my babies. There's so much that you don't know about our government, about our planet, and about the rulers that have taken fate of our lives. Please donate www.paypal.me forward slash the people's astrologer. No, uh, <laughs> Keisha Farmer, because I'm, I'm still in the trance www.paypal.me forward slash Keisha Farmer administrator administ administer the people's astrology <laughs> and I then will um, I'll think about it if I'm going to do a part three I might just move the rest of it to Patreon and begin another series okay so I'm going to be giving you real different topics okay Yes, is it? Oh, girl, stop it. Stop it. I'm an old dude. God, I could be your daddy. <laughs> Bye, guys.